Hallelujah to Jesus. We, we give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You know, this is an art of selfishness. The person that is after you, that have come after your life, that is after your name, that is after your identity. I hear this word so strongly. They have defied their own desire. In other words, they have abandoned their own desires. You know, people can come to that to that state in life where they abandon their own life and they start living other people's life. The person that is after your life, child of God have abandoned their own life and they come for you this is why i said this is wickedness and selfishness it is wickedness and selfishness we all have desires we all have ambition we all have dreams we all have goal you understand so one matter is that we don't allow that dream that ambition whatever we have that we are we are just dreaming or we are working towards we don't allow these things to not become something that will lead to a point where we forget about God and we start attacking those that are also pursuing similar dream. You know, even if, if two footballers are playing the same minutes in the football field, even if they are playing the, in the field, they are going to have different numbers. <laughs> the one that have the same number with the opposite team are going to have different uniforms. Did you understand what I'm saying? If a team of football or a team of basketball is play, playing a game here, let's say football because those ones, they, they are always jamming each other and all of that. You know, even basketball, just take for an example. You see where they are playing and you look at them. They all have their numbers and the numbers are different, but they are playing the same football. They are playing one ball. Nobody is carrying each, each ball and be playing on each or her own. They have one ball to play with. And you look at the other the team, every number that these ones have, those ones have their number. From number one to whatever number that end their game. You understand? And despite the fact that they have the same number in each team, in each team, you will realize that their uniform, there must be a difference in it. It is either their badge, their color, Whatever it is, something must make it different. You understand? So that is to tell you that goal can be similar. Goal can be similar. Dreams can be similar. But there is always one thing that makes it to be different. You understand? It doesn't mean that because the person is not pursuing a football, he won't, he won't score by all means. He will not kill his opponent. Maybe he will just bring out a gun and shoot his opponent and say, die. No. You understand? People live their dreams because they see that your own dream looks similar to their own. They look, they live their own, they abandon their goal. And now they just come for you, child of God. Hallelujah. These are people who have forgotten to live their lives. These are people who felt that you are driving them crazy because you are living the life that God said you should live. Everybody cannot dribble the same. Everybody cannot talk the same. Everybody cannot grow the same. Everybody cannot appear the same. What matter is that everyone appear in his, own, in his or her own unique star in life. Hallelujah. Someone has forgotten to live their life and they come for you. Not that they don't have desire to pursue. But because they felt that your desire or your goal is, is similar to them, and they come for you, the sky, the earth is big for everyone. I am telling you, if every one of us is even flying like a plane or like the bed, there will still be space. No one will jam each other. Hallelujah. I want you to know that those that are coming for you, they have forgotten their own life. 
Why? Because they see that you drive them insane with your own ambition. You must continue in what the Lord puts in your hands. You must remember that even if we wear the same uniform, the sizes can be different. The color can be different. We might wear the same size of shoe, but we work differently in it. You might work better. I might not be good in working it well. <laughs> your, your, your legs might be bigger than my own. My own, my muscles or whatever might be smaller, might be bigger as well. So don't allow somebody to come and say, because you have a similar dream and you allow that person to kill your dream. No, don't do that. Hallelujah. Even in this journey as a minister, there are so many young ministers. When I mean young ministers, I'm not talking about people who started social media, who started ministry with social media. I'm talking about people who are who the Lord, who have carried their ministry, even right before they know that social media will ever, will ever come to this level. You see some of these ministry, they are trying to spread forth. And you will see all the other big, big ones who will try to subdue them. Hallelujah. They will try to subdue them. Because they are like, oh, this person's dream is look like my own. No. Everyone has their space. You have your space. Those that are coming from you, they have dreams. But they have forgotten it because they felt that your dream is going to overshadow them. I pray for you that everything that the Lord has put in your hands, nothing will be able to remove it in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.